Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Taipans Fan TV. We've got our matchup Taipans against the Wildcats. It's going to be happening Friday the 18th at 8:30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, and that's going to be in Perth. So we're going to be on the road at RAC Arena. We're going to be able to watch that on ESPN or SBS on demand. We're going to get into our starting lineups here. Um, Look, no changes really. I think that D yeah, DJ Nibble will come back into the starting lineup after that big game last week. Um, and I think Majuk Deng will stay there in the starting lineup. He won't be changed um, with the matchup against Nick Kay. I think he's long enough, I think, because you believe in him to guard and stay in front of him. And then the rest of our guards will take care of their guards. Um, but look, our must see matchup today. Um, DJ Newville against Bryce Cotton. Both of them played against the Hawks last week and had big shooting games. As you can see, both shot five threes respectively and Bryce Cotton ended up with the seven assists a game with the blowout against the Hawks, but we ended up losing against the Hawks by one, um, which was you know, a bit of a heartbreaker in the end. But look, I think this will be another matchup to watch out for, just because it can happen again. They both can have another hot shooting night, especially Bryce Cotton being at home. Their crowd really gets into it there, so I think he could be a danger man. Um, it's all up to DJ Newville defensively. I think he's a bit solid, a bit stronger. Strong enough to get through and around screens to show a hand to his shots. And hopefully he's defensive minded and stays on the ground, doesn't try to get up under his legs because that's where he draws fouls. Like he ends up putting himself up in the air and then if he gets clipped under the legs, he, he, he will take the foul for that. If he makes a shot, he doesn't. If he misses it, whatever. But look, DJ Newville's got to be defensively minded today, being aware that Bryce Cotton does do that sort of stuff. But look, we'll get into our key points. We've got Machado's ability to create with Damian Martin matchups. So look, as we know, Damian Martin has been giving hell to all point guards across the league that has come and gone. Um, he's been with the Perth Wildcats his whole career and he's just gave point guards nightmares. Um, look, he's got his hands in the lanes all the time. He's not letting go of you, he's picking you up full court. He's got you know quick hands, quick feet. So it's definitely going to be a tough matchup for Scott Machado. So it's all really how he's able to handle that pressure. Okay, will he go to other people? Will he be able to just show his stuff and, and get by and hopefully get some points on the board? But look, also defensively speaking of defense, can't let Bryce Cotton get hot early. If he gets hot early, the crowd gets into it, and we could just fold ourselves over from there. Um, he could make three, four threes in the fourth quarter if we don't, you know, switch on defensively. But I think that we can handle this pressure. Like I said before, DJ Newell will step up this game defensively. Bryce Cotton, I don't think he'll have a big shooting night. But we'll get into that a bit later. Um, also, we've got to handle the noise. Um, as, as I just said before, when Perth get going, their crowd gets going and it just makes the Wildcats keep going. <laughs> It, it, it's, it's hard to see sometimes, as you've seen the Hawks last week. Um, I was really keen for that matchup with Lamella Ball going up in there. Um, you know, biggest crowd, how he handled it was all right. The rest of the team didn't really handle it so well, but I think that now we're coming in with a better mindset from last game. I think that we're just that next step, and I think today we can get that done. And also our late game go-to player, as we've seen last week, I don't think Scott Machado was that player. I think DJ Newbill was that player. Um, he's going to have the matchup against Bryce Cotton. But then, like I said earlier, I think DJ Newbill's a lot stronger um, defensively. Offensively, I think he'll have the upper hand in the matchup. Um, and I think he'll be the go-to player if things get tight. So we'll get into my predictions now. I've got the type ends by two. As I've always said before, DJ Newville to top score. I think he'll take most responsibility tonight, um, but it'd still be a team effort with four double digit scorers. Um, Machado will do also his job as the other guard to make sure the other guys get involved, get their touches, get their shots. Um, and hopefully Kawhi and I get some, get some you know, shots going. That first game that he had was you know, outstanding. And then a couple of shooting woes and then doesn't look as good, so. And also I think defensively we can hold Perth under 100 points. Um, it'll be a tough matchup on the road, but you know I think defensively we can get it done. We won't come in, we won't fold over in the first half. But then what could happen is that Wildcats could just blow us out early. We don't get on top of them defensively and Bryce Cotton just erupts for 30 plus points. And then yeah, we come out flat in the third quarter and it just gets out of hand from there. But look, 
there's my predictions. I've got the tight fans by two. It's going to be a tight matchup over in Perth. Um, like I said, 8.30 tonight. Make sure you guys tune in on ESPN or SBS On Demand. But look, let me know down in the comment section below who you got for the win, who you've got for the big time player of the game. We'll talk to you guys after the game. Post game analysis will probably come tomorrow. But always remember, go to the Mighty Tight Fans.